here in my closet with my new Lamborghini. Knowledge. A little bit of poison ivy. Can you see that? Ew. It's like more itchy than it looks. I haven't been itching it. You like a little bit of misandry? You like a little bit of normalized misandry? Let's let's check it out. Let's witness some of it. And let's let's collectively feel the pain together. On this talk show, I saw a video by Abin Preach, and they went over a video on this talk show on these women that hate men because that's what Western culture does to people. It just conditions women to despise men because that is emotionally satisfying when you can just blame an entire demographic of people for all your problems in life. Hell to the yes. Let's get right into it. The view, TikTok debate. Do we, do women really need men? Absolutely not. Slay queen, you are a goddess. Men are grunge garbage monster creatures that need to be fucking executed and sterilized. Let's get to it. So there's this clip going viral online of a dozen women being asked the following question. Do we need men? <laughs> Most answered very quickly, no. Yeah. <laughs> and only one said she thought women needed a man in their lives, only one. But when men were asked a similar question, do we need women, most of They would say yes, because why would you eradicate an entire demographic of the world just because of your preconceived notions about them? You're talking about genocide, that's what you're talking about. And you think that's a normal thing to talk about. Don't, don't live in America. That's my advice. If you're a dude, this place hates you because that's just the time and place that we live in. I personally believe the reason is corruption. Because if you get all these people to, it's like with racism. You just get a bunch of people to view a certain way towards a certain demographic of people. You can control the narrative. You can get them to make moves on your behalf that's motivated by this, this prejudice that you've planted in their brains. And this is what we're witnessing. All these women who hate men and think that is normal to just despise them. Yet the flip side is men are just like, no, I, we don't, we need women. <laughs> a lot of people look at, oh, we have to continue the human race. Just like, or just like, we're all people, dude. Everyone wants to create their own teams, their own tribes, and then judge everything based on the team or tribe that they've been uh, assigned to based on all these random factors that we build perceived importance around. But it's all just mindless fucking nonsense. We're all disgusting animals. We're all gross primate apes. They just make up stuff based on our feelings. Nothing matters. Human life is objectively worthless. But here are these humans trying to make it seem as if things matter more than they really do. Do we really need men? The view. Let's ask all these women who hate men. Most of them said yes. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think that is? Because men are useless. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> love it. And by the you go, girl. You get them. Let's fucking execute them all. Let's just put them on a train, bring them to the camps, line them up, bang, bang, bang. Let's just get them out of there. Because men are useless. If you want to get petty, bitch, I can get petty with you. Who's recording you right now? Who built the cameras that they're recording you on? Who's, um, who's produced the show? Who's uh, built the set that you're on? Who's built the clothes that you, you're wearing? Who's afforded you all the opportunities? Yeah, it's, it's, I hate that argument too, even though it's right or it's, it's true. I hate it because it just comes from a perspective of like, oh yeah, this is your purpose. We can quantify entire demographics of people based on how useful they are, right? If you were to go through that route of reasoning, you could say that women are useless because men are the ones that do everything. But that's like, that sucks. And most of the, and according to the video that you're watching, most men don't agree that women have no purpose, <laughs> that they don't need women. But all the women exclusively, except one, according to this, this girl, says that men are useless. Someone is telling them to say that. Corruption. Someone has coordinated these beliefs for these people so that they can benefit. I'm not sure who those people are, where they are. It's probably like the most wealthy people, right? The, the corporations, the the lobby groups, the people that set the rules and everything. It's, it's ways to siphon more money from people by controlling the narrative. Alrighty, see what other bullshit you have to say. And by the way, I wanna I wanted differentiate between straight men and gay men, because I think I, I would die without gay men. Nobody can gossip <laughs> like gay men. Nobody can help you accessorize like- Yay, more stupid bullshit. What, what? 
when the cleansing comes along, if you're gay, don't worry, you'll be fine. But you have to be like noticeably gay. You can't be masculine gay. That's not okay. Cause a woman will probably not believe you if you tell them you're gay. <laughs> I like how to them being gay is an identity instead of just a sexual orientation. Oh, gay men help with accessories. Gay men are more flamboyant and more feminine. Yeah, because that's how the world works. There's no nuance to anything. Jesus Christ, dude. Fuck these people. These people have a platform to spew their fucking stupid bullshit. And there are people listening, sitting in the cloud, crowding. Yeah, you go, girl. Oh, man. The view? More like the poo. Because this is all just fecal matter we're witnessing. These are stupid people. But... Come on, you can't really expect anything better. The point is to get views. The point is to draw attention, to get money, to monetize that attention. And hey, say shit like this, you're golden. So you're being viewed on the view as you spew poo. It's like gay men. Me too. Hashtag. Gay men, nobody can help you uh, from keep you from doing harm to your to yourself uh, like gay men. But. With the exception of somebody like Steve, I think Steve is very self-sufficient. That's Joy's husband. But like, he is. my... Okay, so when the cleansing comes along, gay men and Steve are going to be okay. <laughs> this is like a woman in her probably 50s, 60s. Oh my God. What a grotesque species, man. And we're in human, and she has a position in the world to be, for people to hear her dumbass garbage opinion. Fuck this person. Fuck these people. Can any of you say anything that's like rational? Let's see. My husband, it takes a village of women to make sure that he's not emaciated, starving, and living in his own filth. He can, really? you know. Yeah. How about you guys? No. Well, you guys feel you guys are married I, to people I have that are a, more. I have Handy Manny at home. No. <laughs> he <laughs> is. He fixes everything. When things go bump in the night, he's the one that goes downstairs. When there's a bug <clears throat> to be exterminated, he does the extermination. Nope. When there is something to be <laughs> fixed, he fixes it. He throws out the trash Still and he throws no. out the recyclables. Nope. I enjoy all the man stuff. <laughs> so my. Let's not wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to say. Let's wait. Hoo, 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 hoo. So is it men and women who are in your audience? That was pretty antithetical to what the people were clapping about just fucking like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Is everything everything else but also nothing at the same time? What the hell's happening? What's wrong with this fucking species? <laughs> Rhetorical. There's nothing wrong. This is just how the species is. I guess you could say that we're wrong simply by existing. <laughs> Why not just eradicate everyone? Why not just nuke everyone? Then you won't, then there won't be these stupid the, the fucking view, <laughs> these dumbass opinions and all this this tribalistic nonsense. Ugh. Well, she likes men because of their practicality. You need a leaky faucet fixed, get a man. Get handy manny in there. You need a bug smashed, get a little bit of handy manny in there. It's our plant. It's that enferma. See, it's sick. <laughs> Don't worry, tools. The plant isn't sick. Ah. <sighs> These are grown adults sharing their opinions in front of millions of people. She's really talking about a servant, let's face it. No. It's a handyman well, well, she's it's, talking no, about. No, it's a handyman. Oh, it's a handyman with benefits. We do not have, well, but, but the things that you're describing. So blue collar labor and sex, that's what men are good for. That's the one person on the panel who's defending or who's counter to the do we need men argument. Isn't life just wonderful? Isn't everything just great? <laughs> you could pay somebody to do that. We're not talking about that. What about the inner life of a man? That's what this is about. I need my man three to four times a week. And <laughs> <laughs> Good for you guys. And then the rest of the time I need a wife. Because I've always said Everyone that... Everyone needs a wife. No, I tease Vicky, my producer, in the morning. I was like, if you'd like to join Max and I, not in that way. But, like, Vicky and I could kill it as a household mm -hmm. runners. Like, yeah. we would be laughing, giggling, doing all the things. And Max would be so psyched I was wasting all my words somewhere else anyway. <laughs> so it would be a perfect combo. And, and the other day, Caleb said to me, this is my youngest son, he said, Mama, I want a spare mom. And I didn't know what he meant. Oh. And he's like, he said, Genevieve has a spare mom. And I realized the parents were divorced. Nanny? No, oh. a, a divorced. A, an extra a mom. mom. Like two moms. Oh. Oh. And mom. so I asked him, because at first I was a little wounded. I was like, what am I not doing? You know, and he's like, no, I just think at bedtime, you always have to pay attention to the other kids too. And if we had a spare mom, you, dad, and you could, you know, then you just get a focus on me. And it was yeah. so sweet. He well, didn't ask for a spare dad, by the way. <laughs> These are your average humans. This is the brain of your average dumb fuck piece of shit garbage human. 
you're using like you're just referring to shit that you've been through and the way that these things have made you feel as a way to to discern tangible reality you haven't actually gone out of your way to understand things you haven't spent any time researching or, or, or thinking about your thoughts doubting things trying to like just understand this is how you understand that this is the extent of that like this is a joke man and people are here to actually listen to your opinion. They're reacting. Uh, yes, we're viewing the poo. What are you fucking, dude? What a joke of a species, man. Oh my God. This is stupid. This is really dumb. These people, like, this is just the result of, of people trying to make money. Right? Us hearing this guy's opinion. The, the people, the fact that these people on the show, the fact that this is the way that the show goes, the fact that the show goes over these people's opinions. It's a joke, man. Fucking mother fuck. Oh my God. Yes, yeah. sure. I took this totally differently in how I prepped yeah. because broadly speaking, I feel like men have proven largely useless. Like I think in the political moment, the people who are don't hold saying back. what needs to be <laughs> said <laughs> in my party, it's all women, the very few men with the exception of Mike Pence and a few others are saying what they need to. But in life, like I need my husband. I don't know if I need any other men, but he is irreplaceable. Yeah, Aww. yeah, I think so. But I that's mean, what we're all saying. We like our husbands. We just don't need men beyond that. I mean, yeah, wait, wait till you The audience is just like there. They, like, they're just there to, to, to make noises. Every time a new girl on the panel shares her opinion, yes, I like that. Whatever you said, I agree. Because we, we don't have our own opinions. We're, we're just primates. Oh, God. Man, worthless species. You're married 20 years, and you'll see how replaceable well, the reason they are. That women, I think that the reason women can stay married for as long as they do is because they have a lot of girlfriends. They have a village. They, they have girlfriends. Because I always have to initiate the conversations. He'll, he'll step up, but I have I to start I thought you were going to say initiate. Oh, I, don't, I, like, I, I, oh, I just I told you guys, I have eight girlfriends from Panama here who are oh. girlfriends for 50 years since they were in kindergarten. Oh, I love and that. It's that and, and they were saying yesterday that they've gone through divorces, they've gone through challenges, and, they're, and having that village of women <coughs> has made it possible. Well, we are them. more collaborative than men. I think yeah. there have been studies that say that women have much more, much closer friendship relationships than men do. Because I, again, I think we have to make a difference. Women, a, a, a differentiate gay men. No, gay men are, are in, their, our, in their own category. Yeah, yeah, but we're not married to gay men, okay? Oh. But okay, women, well, women have conversations about their feelings. Men talk about sports, it's cars, yeah. all that stuff. I don't know. My husband talks about his feelings with his Maybe he's gay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's good. That's the end of the clip. That was fucking stupid. You don't know, like, you're just making up stuff based on stuff that you feel and the stuff that you've experienced and witnessed. There's no, like, the only lady that was trying to apply some degree of, like, science was the girl who referred to the, uh, was the one that didn't seem to despise men. <laughs> the only scientific one of the panel. <laughs> uh, wow. Jesus Christ, man. Sorry, Jesus Christ, women. Because God's a female. Right? Because men are disgusting. I don't know why I made that joke. Just... <laughs> okay, what she said. Men, women are more inclined to be a little, to spend more time cultivating relationships because they seem to just gain more, I guess, meaning from that versus men. And according to these women, men only talk about sports and cars and shit, not their feelings. But everything specific to each individual. Men are less. There's less of an outlet for men to speak about their feelings because usually when men speak about their feelings, they're shit on and blamed for stuff, right? Women are allowed to be much more emotional. You should allow everyone to be emotional, but both men and women treat men and women like men and women. So men are, women are given that outlet. Men are discouraged from doing such. And when they try to do it, they are met with resistance. They are met with, with blaming. So yeah, that was fucking stupid. Don't watch this show. Don't support these people. Don't give them money. They are, as they say about men, useless. So, ah. Uh, how about just don't be garbage? There. Problem solved. God, my skin is... My skin is garbage.